So the rooms and the space that are in your house don't actually have to be boring. They don't have to be humdrum. They don't have to be cluttered. And Lazy Boy interior designer Jennifer Munson is going to make your home just a cool living environment. I like that, just like she did with our set. Lazy Boy has a very unique process for space planning. And good morning, Jen. You're going to tell good us morning. all about it. Yes, ma'am. It's good to have you back. Last time we were together, I got a tour of Lazy Boy, and it was yes. beautiful, and there's so many options. So let's talk about this space planning. What does it even mean? Well, um, it, there's a, a whole process behind it. But, okay. Um, first of all, we start with going out to the customer's home uh -huh. to actually measure and measure their that pieces that. that they're going to keep and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And that way, when we go back to the store, yeah. we can actually do a floor plan. Well, okay. You do the whole floor plan, and you do all you do all this this process that you've talked about. So what would be step one? Tell everybody step one. Okay, well step one would actually be to take the measurements mm -hmm. from the measure. Okay. Um, go to the store and use our 2D room planner. Okay, I love that by the way. Yes. Tell them what that is. Um, the 2D room planner is just a program that'll allow us to actually draw the walls and create the basic shape of the room. So as you see here, we have to Actually, you have to start out with a rectangle and then you build from there. So this image uh. here shows you the actual um, room shape once I got done tweaking it to fit their measurements. <laughs> yeah, because every room is different, everybody's taste is different, and there's different features that you need in each room. So is it important to include all the features? Yes, you want to definitely include all your architectural elements. Okay. And on that, you would actually do, you know, like your windows and your doors and your pass-through. So oh, I see, I this see. image shows you all of those that have been added. Okay. But also you'd want to include stuff like a fireplace. This um, room actually didn't have one. But if you had a fireplace, you'd want to go there, too, and put all those pieces that can't be moved in there. You know, I mean, it's amazing when you are planning and you don't do what you do as a profession, you often forget things like the sliding doors or the windows or the mm -hmm. closets. And, you know, so you have to really be very cognitive of that furniture placement. So talk a little bit about how you make those decisions. Okay, well, we actually, um, the next step I actually do is I actually put the furniture in there. Okay. And then I oh. can get a feel for how it's actually going to fit in the space is the I are see. the pieces that they chose going to fit so here you know you have to be cautious of your walkways uh -huh. because a a basic walkway you need a minimum of 36 inches oh. and then like between the ottoman and the sofa in this image you need 18 inches so that you can actually walk through there and be able to sit down so um, we have to be able to go in there and see does the, is this going to work I'm so glad you're saying these things because these are just things that the average person sometimes just does not think about myself included and I also want to ask you about accessorizing because one of the things I loved about the store were all the accessories you offer and the things that we see even right here on the set so do you wait to do that at the very last minute or do you pick those first um, I do those last. I add in the case goods next, like your tables, your um, sofa table, your dining room, if you want to do dining room and so forth, if they're open to each other. Okay. Then I do the accessories and your rugs, your lamps, your um, artwork and all of that. Like okay. this image here shows you where we've added all those case goods in there so you can mm -hmm. see the dining room. And we wanted to do that also because it's open so they can see the flow between their two spaces. Right. But not right. only that, but we have the ability to do the dining room, the office, the bedroom we can do it all so I love if you I mean, need help. visionaries really because it's like I said there's just a certain eye that you have by doing this as a profession mm -hmm. that you can see beyond what we see to our you know just in the moment what we mm -hmm. see but you can see ahead and you really need to build a room around furniture you've said that before that yep. you take a, a unique piece sometimes or a piece sure. of art so how does that work um, well, like I said, when we were there, mm -hmm. we measure their existing pieces. So okay. when we're there, they'll tell us, okay, I have to have this piece in here. Yeah, like I have so to then, have this couch. Then we can measure that and make sure we incorporate that and, okay. and get everything in there that they want so they get the room that's not only beautiful but also functional. So. Do you find that there's ever one piece that seems to be a more regularly stated thing that people say, I have to have this? Is it usually their lazy boy recliner? <laughs> oh, of course. Of course you have to have is. the recliner. You have to. Yeah. I mean, but I, do you find that these days, I mean, I feel like these days media Media is such a big part of design. Mm -hmm. Do you find that media centers and televisions, people are kind of building their, their room and their designs around that too? Yes, they, absolutely. And sometimes it, when you're looking at like your fireplace is your architectural element that stays, yeah. sometimes it's the TV. Because really? sometimes there's only one space in the room that TV can go. Mm -hmm. So you have to build your room around that because Very true. it is a world where you watch TV. No doubt, and especially in New Mexico style, of yes. course. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remind all of our viewers where they can find Lazy Boy because you do have more than one location right here yes. in Albuquerque. So let's Let's tell them about that. It's uh, 3750 Ellison Northwest and 5004 San Mateo Northeast. And you can always visit us online at lazyboy.com. 
and we appreciate that you do those consultations for everybody and everything that you do to make our homes a more beautiful place. Yes, ma'am. So we can be lazy and you can help us. Yeah, <laughs> we can do Jen. it. You're appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. No problem. And we'll be right back. Don't go away.